Hello, good morning and happy Tuesday to you and around the world. This is Elijah Jones. Welcome to my YouTube channel and I want to say thank you for supporting me and just being there for me and I thank you guys. I am not singing because it's right, it's 530, 532 in the morning and my, sister, my mom and my brother are both sleeping so I don't got time to be screaming or hollering <laughs> at this moment. Good morning, though. Um, if you happen to be watching this in the afternoon or evening or nighttime, good evening and good night. <laughs> or, you know, welcome to midnight. <laughs> if you're watching this at midnight, whatever. But I just want to say hello and just be really... I want to say um, thank you guys for the views on my last video and... I want to say thank you and God bless. You guys are amazing. I seriously meant that from the bottom of my heart. I just want to say thank you so much. You guys are a blessing in disguise. And I just am very grateful for all you guys and for supporting me for the lives. God, like for a long time now. I started my YouTube channel when I was 17. I am now 24 years old. I don't look it, but thank God I don't look it. <laughs> um, I just want to, today I want to just talk a little bit. And I'm going to stay in this, in this like, direction. And, you know, because I'm going to hold my, my camera. But I just want to talk a little bit. And just say hello. And just, you know, um, have the whole understanding of, like, you know, what life is all about. Basically, I'm going to be telling, telling you guys my life story. And what's been going on in the in the past like year and so so this is gonna be a really interesting conversation to you guys <laughs> so okay so a lot of people were I want to say a lot but I'm pretty sure some of you guys probably was wondering like you know what happened to me and you know why I stopped doing YouTube and you know why I wasn't really posting on snapchat as much and Instagram and if any of you guys follow me on Facebook, well, I'm pretty sure what you guys don't, but it's fine. Uh, so basically what happened was I had got a job working at a grocery store. <clears throat> at a grocery store, I was working at a store called ShopRite. I worked there for almost an entire year, and <sighs> it was hell for me. It was complete hell. And... The reason why I say this is because, like, you know, like, you know, at first I wasn't sure if I should do it, but then I was like, it's my channel, it's my page, I can do whatever I want on my own channel, so, I was like, you know. But basically, what happened was, I ended up um, getting super, super depressed working there. When I first started back in 2018, <clears throat> when I first started working there back in 2018, um, I started to have some issues with this one particular manager. I'm not going to say her name, but she was kind of, uh, she was extremely mean and she was really a bitch, but you know, that's just my personal preference. <laughs> I don't like the woman personally. I don't, um, basically what happened was she started to like pick on me and I, at first I kind of thought it was just her just, you know, trying to like, you know, tr trying to see like what I was going to do and, and, you know, and, and at first and I was like, at first I was, I guess you could say I was okay with it because I was just like, oh, she just probably just, try the reason why she's probably doing it just to see, you know, just to see if I would snap on her or whatever <clears throat> or get angry at her quickly or whatever. So... Basically, so that, you know, fast forward a little bit, a couple of months, I want to say about January. So around this time, me and her, we totally did not like each other. And a lot, a lot had, a lot had happened in, in those, I want to say in those four months I was working there. Five months I was working there. I started in September of 2018. So yeah, so like five months I was working there and, and, um, and a lot has a lot a lot like I said a lot had happened around that time. So basically, to make a long story short, as short as possible, um, me and her got into a really like really bad argument where basically I ended up throwing some cheese away, and that and I you know I took full I took full responsibility and I was like I should never did that. The reason why I did that, no, it's not, 
it's no excuse. Like I said, like I'm, I'm you know, I, I can't, I, I can't sit here and say, you know, like she had no right to be angry. I threw away some cheese. Okay, I threw away some cheese, and I had no right, and I can't make up no excuse for it. And and she was very upset about it, but the way she handled it was so unprofessional. She yelled at me in front of coworkers and customers. And it was so bad to the point where, like, I, the next day, I know it was so bad that I ended up taking a customer, and I didn't even finish my customer. I literally just walked off and went home. And so after that particular incident happened, like, the next day I came in, I was still pissed off. I was going to quit. I was going to put in my two weeks, and I was just, I was done at that point. And she said something, she was like, oh, I th she said, oh, I thought you got fired or whatever. So that pissed me off, and then as soon as she said, because personally, when someone says, "Oh, I thought you got fired," in my head, when when she said that to me, I was like, "Oh well, I'm gonna curse you out now." So I was like, "F you," or whatever. So as soon as I said that, she looked extremely shocked, like I cursed her out, and and obviously I talked to the store manager, and the store manager, of course, you know, I had to like you know kiss his ass just to quote unquote keep my job, even though at that point I was like, this job is crap and I wasn't really you know I, I was I was exhausted working six days a week one day off I didn't really have time for myself it was just a lot and then so I ended up asking the store manager if I can go into the seafood department so I didn't get I didn't, I didn't grant me my wish until late March and like I said me and this woman was having issues I want to say about like three months prior because the first month when I went when I first got a job in September she wasn't really like picking on me but like when the second month I want to say like around like November she was really like she was really like you know she was really like you know getting you know she was really getting getting on my nerves. And I just didn't, I, I, she was picking on me and just making me feel like crap. But I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't get it. I really didn't get it. So, you know, to, anyway. So, ended up going to the seafood department. And for the first couple of months, I, um, I was so, semi-happy, I guess you could say. And then, I'm going to say about like maybe like three months and shit started to get really rocky again. And our management started to treat me like crap. I was getting treated like pure crap by management, which I just didn't, I didn't get. And, you know, and on top of it, it didn't really help the fact that I was a black man and they were all white. So, you know, that, you know, not, I, I hate to put race into it, but I'm going to have to because, you know, um, so that happened and then it, it just got to, and then around, I want to say maybe around like October. I want to say around the summertime, or maybe a little, I want to say maybe a little bit later on after that, I, um, I got super depressed to the point where I just, all I did was, I was, I was eating, I was gaining a lot of weight, all I did was, all I did was eat, go to work, walk my dog, sleep a lot, I, well, I was barely sleeping, so like, you know, but like, and then like, I want to say that happened around the summertime, and then I want to say it got it started to become worse around November. So it was this one particular incident where I ended up getting I was I was I was having a really rough time. My home life was exhausting. My mom, my brother wasn't really being understanding. They was just kind of like getting on my case, and then I and then I was trying my best to go to work and make it seem like my life was somewhat okay even though my life was falling apart and then like and then of course you know my, my my work life was extremely extremely sad and depressing and just all the above but I just I couldn't do it anymore and then it's got to a point and I remember I remember I wrote my two weeks notice in November around after Thanksgiving then I took it back and then I was like well maybe I was like I'll just stay for maybe like a, you know a couple more months and I was like I was like if anything if anything does not change then I will quit. So I ended up quitting. <laughs> I ended up quitting, and then as soon as that happened, as soon as that happened, I um no, I ended up taking it back. I ended up taking ended up taking my two weeks back, and then as soon as I did that, 
they still they still was treating me like crap, and then it just got to a point where I ended up staying for Christmas and staying for New Year's, and it just got to a point where I was just like, it's got to a point where I was just like, you know what, I can't do it no more because, and then it's also like I said around that time also, and then I ended up like I said I was super super depressed to the point where I tried to commit suicide. I ended up trying taking pills. And obviously that didn't go too well. So I told my mom what happened. I was at work when I was texting her and you know, and she was like, Okay. <laughs> she was like, Something's gotta give. We gotta put you we, we gotta get you in the hospital and ended up going into a program for about four weeks. My god my ended up going into a program for about like four weeks and the program helped me a lot and I would say it was actually one of the best choices of my entire life. I ended up on medi- I ended up on medication. I'm still on the medication, and and, um, and it was actually the best part of my life. And I and then I remember, I remember um, the last. I remember when I um, decided to put in my two weeks. I was so ready to put in my two weeks at that point. I was like, okay, I'm ready to do this. I got this. I'm. I'm super ready for this. I got this, and I'm ready to be free again. I'm ready to get some rest and get my life back on track because my life was a hot mess. And basically, what happened was I ended up putting my two weeks late later in December, and they at first they you know at first you know of course you know they they came to me and was like oh i heard you putting in two weeks and you know yada 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 whatever and that was the first week and then when the second week came around i want to say maybe the middle of the of the second week they were they started to like get nervous they was like oh snap he's he's actually going to you know quit whatever and people was just like management was just like oh my god i can't believe you're gonna quit you've been here for almost an entire year and i'm and i remember thinking like you do realize you guys was treating me like pure garbage for almost an entire year I was here. I I told you that this woman in the deli was, you know, treating me like crap. And then and then on and then on top of it, you guys was talking to me in your own kind of way and I was just like, This is not how it's supposed to be. So so that happened and I was just like, you know what? I need to, I need to do what's best for me. I need to do I need to focus on my health, my mental health and my and my physical health. And I need to get my life back on track and that's final. So obviously I I ended my the last time the last, uh the last time so it's been January, February, March, April. So it's been about 4 months since I I've, I've been jobless for about 4 months now. I'm I'm still looking for a job at the moment even though we're in this whole quarantine thing. And uh, and then obviously when after I quit, when I say about a month into it, I was hoping that I would, I would have got a job by like February, cause uh, cause I remember the first time I got a job, I ended up with a job in February, and I was just like even better. I was like maybe I was like maybe February might be a lucky month of lucky month for me. Who knows, you know? So I was just like okay, let let's just see, let's just hope and pray and obviously no job happened. And then obviously after after no after no after after that particular incident happened, then my phone got broke. So I wasn't able to, like, you know, um, get calls from, from, um, from, like, these jobs or whatever. So, and then obviously after my phone broke, the whole quarantine issue happened, and then this whole COVID-19 thing issue happened, and then I was just like, great, I was like, come on, I want my life back, and then now here I am, 24 years old, just turned 24 years old, like, almost, like, three weeks ago now, well, I think three, two, two or three weeks, I can't remember, but, you know, and now, I'm, and there's isolation, and, and, you know, I'm doing isolation, and, uh, I'm a lot better than I once was, uh, I want to say about six months ago, I'm doing a lot better than I once was, but, I definitely miss making money, <laughs> And I definitely want to say, if it wasn't for the grace of God, I probably would not be here because I had lost so much faith and I lost so much. I was so, I was so not in touch with my, with my, my higher power, which, you know, I, you know, my, my, my belief system is God. And, you know, and I just like, I lost my higher power and, and, you know, I was just like, my God. But now I'm at a point where I'm good. I'm, I'm in a good place. 
Um, my family still stresses me out, but that's just normal. Um, they have to work with me, and I like I have to work with them, and they know that I'm gay, so that's a blessing in disguise. So you know, but um, basically what I've what I've learned about the whole coping mechan the whole coping mechanism and just coping really well and smarter and it's just like just be honest with yourself and just be your be be honest and be open to your family so they can be open to you about 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 situations and and like, e like anyone who watches this video and and think that you know my life is freaking perfect don't even say that because i am just like you who is whoever's watching this video i'm just like you you know i'm obviously a lot older of course but i just like you I, you know i go through the same issues just like mostly just like every young boy or young man or whatever in their teenagers or 20s or whatever you know or even in there if, if if you're in your 30s and you happen to be watching my videos you know I'm, I'm pretty sure you understand that you know we all go through some type of issue in our lives you know so but I just want to say thank you for watching my video. May God bless you. I will see you guys very soon. I'm actually going to, I I want to do a cover for you guys very soon. I don't know when exactly, but I'm going to do a cover. I'm taking my time, people. I'm taking my time. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for being there and supported me for almost so many years i want to say thank you god bless you and i i love you guys from the bottom of my heart and just be yourself be be um be honest be patient with yourself love yourself and also like i always say in every in the, every video that i always do be kind to one another and stay safe wash your hands stay inside do your homework if you're in school <laughs> or college or whatever, both ways. Um, continue to work and just, you know, continue to be positive and continue to force yourself to do what you got to do and love yourself no matter what. This is Elijah Jones. I want to say thank you. God bless you and have a great day or afternoon or whatever time you're watching this. I want to say God bless you. Peace. Love you.